Healing Scripture for the Body, Mind and Soul with Pastor Pesa Tan. Jeremiah 17 verse 14 says, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for you are my praise. Heavenly Father, we are trusting in what we've just read. You have all power, and all might and all wonderful healing virtues to grant to us. And because of that, we say, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. Lord, we glorify you right here and now and thank you in advance for our healing. Jeremiah 33, verse 6. Behold, I will bring to it health and healing and I will heal them and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security Lord Jesus we give you thanks that you have absolute power to heal us and grant to us health so we give you thanks right now and we are entrusting you to reveal to us the abundance of your prosperity and your security in your precious name we pray. Amen. 1 Peter 2 verse 24 He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Heavenly Father, we are grateful that your Son went to the cross to die for sinners like us so that we might also die to sin and now live for truth for grace for Christ Lord we declare by your words that by Jesus wounds we are healed we declare that once again by Jesus wounds we are healed we bring that into our soul. We hear that with our heart. And we trust that we are healed. Amen. Psalms 41 verse 3. The Lord sustains him on his sickbed. In his illness, you restore him to full health. Lord, we pray for any brother or sister who is now in the hospital or sick at home and we ask oh God you bring restoration to his health every part of our brother or our sister's body made alive strengthened anything that should not be there taken away Lord you are good and we declare your goodness and we are grateful it's by your precious name we say Amen. Psalms 147 verse 3 He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Lord Jesus, how grateful we are to hear that. Even now, there are many of us who have broken hearts. Hearts that are torn and in pain, filled with sorrow because of so much loss, so much death and darkness all around us. Lord, your word says you heal the brokenhearted. So here we are bringing before you our hearts that needs your health. Lord, please bind up all our wounds. Please bring healing to the soul, to the heart, to the mind and even to our consciences you heal us oh god in your precious name amen proverbs 17 verse 22 a joyful heart is good medicine but a crushed spirit dries up the bones in your precious name oh lord we pray for those that have spirits that are crushed 
and it feels like the bones are dried up. It feels like all of life is in the negative space. But oh God, you can once again bring to our minds and our souls a joyfulness, a cheerfulness, a merriment of the heart. As your word says, a joyful heart is good medicine. So, O oh God, would you restore joy in our spirits? James 5, verse 15. And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Father in heaven, we want to pray with prayer of faith. We do not want to pray and then doubt and refuse to believe. So right here and now, we come to your heavenly throne, obtaining mercy. And we pray prayers of faith and trust, Lord, that you will bring healing. You will bring salvation. You will bring deliverance even in sickness where there doesn't seem to be any other road and any other way we believe that you can raise us up we believe that you can heal us completely so we give you thanks right now as we pray only by faith for your powerful mighty hand to work amongst us in Jesus' name. Amen. 3 John chapters 1, verse 2 Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. Father, we are so grateful that Apostle John wishes all Christians to have good health, to have souls that are restored. Lord, with what your apostle has said, we trust that that's your desire even now. So Father, hear our prayer as we pray over every other brother or sister in Christ, that every single one of them, your life be upon them. Your strength go with them. Your wonderful health restore them. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, we give you thanks for James chapter 5, verses 14 and 15. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. So God, right now, we declare your goodness and your health upon every single person. And Lord, as their pastors and their leaders lay hands on them, we trust, O oh God, that you are more than able to bring healing. Amen. Exodus 15 verse 26. He said, If you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in His eyes, if you pay attention to His commands and keep all His decrees, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians. For I am the Lord who heals you. Heavenly Father, please give us the strength to do what is pleasing before your eyes, to do what is right in your sight. Lord Jesus, help us to go back to the precious commandments given to your people so that we might keep all your decrees all your instruction and abide in your word. And what was said in Exodus 
is still true to this day that none of the diseases would come upon us for you are indeed our God our Lord who heals us Exodus 23 verse 25 worship the Lord your God and his blessing will be on your food and water I will take away sickness from among you Father we give you thanks and we worship you in spirit and truth you have been exceedingly kind and exceedingly good as we worship you and as we bless your holy name Father based on your word we trust that you will bless our food and water and that sickness disease and illnesses would be taken away we trust you on that Isaiah 41 verse 10 so do not fear for I am with you do not be dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you and help you I will uphold you with my righteous right hand Lord Jesus help us O God even in our fears and our doubts and our pain as we come before you O God based on your word in Isaiah strengthen and help us uphold us with your righteous right hand for you alone have all power and strength so right here and now we declare fear is gone dismay is gone depression is gone because your strength has come in Jesus precious name Amen Jeremiah 30 verses 17 but I will restore you to health and heal your wounds declares the Lord Heavenly Father this is such a precious word a simple yet truthful word you will restore us health and heal our wounds we declare this we believe this we receive this we accept this in your most powerful name Amen and Amen Deuteronomy 32 verse 39 see now that I myself and he there is no God besides me I put to death and I bring to life I have wounded and I will heal and no one can deliver out of my hand oh heavenly father this precious word shows the immense and eternal power you have ultimately there is no God that is like you every other God pales in comparison to the God of Scripture and the God of the Bible you put to death you bring to life you wound you heal Lord it's all within your power and so we place our soul our body our minds our hearts firmly into your hand amen second Chronicles 7 verses 14 to 15 if my people who are caught by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then I will hear from heaven I'll forgive their sin and will heal their land Heavenly Father what a precious precious word this is something we all need in our times of struggle Lord this is truly a template for revival not only national revival not only revival for many to come to the saving knowledge of Jesus but a revival for the person that needs healing a personal walk with you so Lord we declare 
Indeed, we are called by your name. And now we humble ourselves before you. We pray. We seek your face. We turn from all our wicked ways. We trust that your word will come to pass. That you are hearing from heaven. Forgiveness of sin has come. And you will heal our land. Oh God, will you heal our, our land, our heart? Would you heal where we need the deepest healing to come? We speak Second Chronicles 7 verses 14 and 15 over our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Isaiah 57 verses 18 to 19. I've seen their ways, but I will heal them. I will guide them and restore comfort to Israel's mourners, creating praise on their lips. Peace, peace to those far and near, says the Lord, and I will heal them. Lord Jesus, despite many times we have sinned against you, and our ways are not your ways, and our thoughts are way beneath your thoughts. Yet, on many occasions, you have shown so much grace and willingness to heal us in spite of our imperfections. Oh God, please, give us your peace. Your word says clearly, peace, peace to those far and near. Lord, we need your peace. We need your healing today. Amen and Amen. Philippians 4, verse 19. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. Lord, you have all power. And we are so blessed to know that all our needs can and will and should be met by the amazing riches of the glory of God found in your Son, Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, the glory of Christ is eternal. Therefore, your ability to meet all our needs is eternal. There is no lack in your courtyard. There is absolutely no lack in the heavens. So Father, hear our prayer. Please meet our needs where we need your help. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Dear friends, let's continue to pray and hear the scriptures of God's word. For his scriptures bring life and health to those who need it. So right now, we receive more of what he has for us. Isaiah 33, verse 2. Lord, be gracious to us. We long for you. Be our strength every morning, our salvation in time of distress. Father, please, according to your word, be gracious to us. And as we build our trust in you, our desire for you will grow. Father, save us in our time of distress. Many of us are crying out to you because we have nowhere else to turn. And we know full well that only you have complete control. So please, oh God, be gracious to us and hear our prayer. In Jesus' name. And we all say, Amen. James 5, verse 6. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Dear brothers and sisters, perhaps as you're listening to this, you could be hearing this with other Christians. So pray together now because God's word is true. 
that the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come and confess our sins to one another. And we ask, O oh God, that you bring healing to our soul and healing to our bodies, healing to our minds. Lord, your word is clear. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. And because of that, we believe and we trust that right now, as we pray in faith, only by your blood and only through your word, we believe that the healing of God has come. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. John 14, verse 27. Peace I live with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Heavenly Father, you know us exactly what is going on in our minds. You know us in every way imaginable. So Lord, right now, we want to receive the peace that only your Son can give. The world cannot give us this peace. Only Jesus can give us the true peace of the inner soul. Lord, our troubles, our cares, our burdens, the weariness in our minds and our hearts, we don't want it to destroy us. We don't want to be afraid. We don't want to be hampered by it anymore. So God, would you give us your wondrous peace? Would you give us your powerful peace? In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Matthew 11, verses 28 to 30. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. What a wonderful thing our Lord and Savior says to us that we can come to Him. He will not push us away. We can go to Jesus now. He will not say we cannot come. If we have cares and burdens and weariness, Jesus says He wants to offer us rest. Lord Jesus, we receive that rest right now. Jesus also says to take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble and hard. Lord Jesus, we are grateful. You are gentle and you are humble and hard. Therefore, you do not refuse those who genuinely come to you for help. In fact, you say you will give us rest for our souls. So now we receive by faith in your wonderful words the precious, precious rest that our soul requires. Right now, in Jesus' name, we are made alive. We are healed. Our souls are recovering. The wounds of the soul have begun to dissipate. And in Jesus' name, brother, sister, you are healed. Amen. Isaiah 40, verse 29. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Lord, we receive that right now. Right now, in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Psalms 30, verse 2. Lord my God, I called to you for help and you healed me. We receive that now, Lord Jesus. In your precious name, we pray. 
Amen. Psalms 34, 17 to 22. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. He protects all his bones. Not one of them will be broken. Evil will slay the wicked. The foes of the righteous will be condemned. The Lord will rescue his servants. No one who takes refuge in him will be condemned. We receive that now in Jesus' name. Amen. A Psalms 103 verses 2 to 4. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. Heavenly Father, what a wonderful word that is. We praise you now. We praise you tomorrow. And we praise you forevermore. You indeed redeem us, and forgive us, and heal us, and even crown us with love and compassion. Lord, you are so good. You are so amazing. Psalms 6. Verse 2, have mercy on me, Lord, for I am faint. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are in agony. Dear friends, for those of you that are in desperate, desperate need for the Lord's mercy, and perhaps a calamity has befallen your household, and there are tragic situations arising. Perhaps like the psalmist, you are feeling faint and your bones are in agony. And then call out to God now, friend, exactly like what the psalmist did. Cry out to him and say, have mercy on me, O God. Heal me, O God. And may the Lord hear your prayer and bring you to that perfect, perfect peace and that wondrous place called mercy. Psalms 41 verses 2 and 3. The Lord protects and preserves them. They are counted among the blessed in the land. He does not give them over to the desire of their foes. The Lord sustains them on their deathbed and restores them from their bed of illness. What a wonderful thing we receive that now in Jesus name. Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I like nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Oh God, how good you are. Psalms 23, a wonderful passage of how perfect and how precious your son Jesus is a shepherd to us. Lord, indeed we lack nothing. Indeed your comforting and your goodness and your love flows in our life. We receive that now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Psalms 73 verse 26 My flesh and my heart 
may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. The psalmist admits that his own flesh, his own human heart, may fail, but God doesn't fail because God provides strength. God gives us what we need. And so, like the psalmist, let us receive the strength from God. Heavenly Father, we need strength. We need your help to give us our portion in you forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Matthew 4, verses 23 and 24. Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness among the people. News about him spread all over Syria and people brought to him all who were ill with various diseases. Those suffering severe pain, the demon possessed, those having seizures and the paralyzed and he healed them. Dear friends, what a perfect, perfect Jesus that you and I love and serve. He went about in Galilee and everyone that came to him with a desire to be healed, we are seeing that Jesus healed them. Whether disease, severe pain, demon possession, those with seizures, those that are paralyzed, Jesus healed them. Let us believe now, friend, that Jesus heals you right now. He pours his love into you and you are made whole in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mark chapters 2 verses 17 Jesus said to them it is not the healthy who need a doctor but the sick I have not come to call the righteous but sinners Jesus goes to those who need help he goes to the sinners he goes to the sick he doesn't go to the self-proclaimed righteous Therefore, let us now come to Jesus acknowledging our sin and acknowledging our complete need for His healing touch. Heavenly Father, we trust that you're hearing our prayer. And we come humbly before you and ask for your wonderful healing that only you can give in the precious name of Jesus. And all of us say, Amen. Mark 5, verse 34. Jesus said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Friends, let our faith rise and soar like on wings of eagles. Let our faith be seen clearly because as we look to Jesus he gives us trust he gives us strength right now may we proclaim the words of faith Jesus we need your healing touch and we long to hear you say your faith has healed you go in peace so now we receive it completely now we trust your word completely your faith has healed you in jesus name amen and amen luke chapter 13 verses 11 to 13 and a woman who was there who had been crippled by a spirit for 18 years she was bent over 
and could not straighten up at all. When Jesus saw her, he caught her forward and said to her, Woman, you are set free from your infirmity. Then he put his hands on her, and immediately she straightened up and praised God. Amen and Amen. Acts 4 verses 30 to 31 Stretch out your hand to heal and perform signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. After they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. Dear friends, as we are being laid hands upon from other brothers and sisters, and as we lay hands on others that need healing as well, let us trust that God is able to use us as instruments for healing. Let us be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us speak the word of God with all boldness. Amen. Acts chapters 9 verse 33 to 34 There he found a man named Ananias who was paralyzed and had been bedridden for eight years. And Peter said to him, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and roll up your mat. Immediately Ananias got up. Here we see the precious, precious word of God go forth. And this paralyzed and bedridden man for eight years believed the words that Apostle Peter was saying, trusted that Jesus had healed him, and up he went. He wrote up his mat and went back home. And the same can happen for us, for those that are bedridden, for those that might be paralyzed or severely injured, let us believe exactly in the words that Peter said. Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and walk in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. Acts chapter 10, verse 37 to 38. You know what has happened throughout the province of Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, and how he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil, because God was with him. And as we close, let us pray this final prayer together. Heavenly Father, bless us, keep us, strengthen us, hold us in your righteous right hand. We believe that every sickness, illness, disease can be completely healed by you. We declare this in your precious name by the stripes of Jesus Christ we are healed all these things we say Amen and Amen